Hi, Mike here. Dates in Excel, the bane of my life and probably the bane of your life too, especially when you try and fail to sort those dates into order or you want to do a calculation on dates such as work out everybody's age and the formula generates an error. More often than not, it's because the dates aren't dates. They may look like dates, but under the hood, they're text entries. To be able to sort those dates or filter on those dates or use those dates in a formula, you need to convert them into something that Excel understands. There's a few ways to do that. One way is to use the date value function, but it doesn't always work. It depends on the way the text dates have been typed in and quite often results in hash value as the result. Another way is to use a long-winded formula like this one. But I did say I was going to show you how to convert a date without a formula. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here's my list of employees or friends or whatever they are, doesn't really matter, together with their date of birth. The dates in column B aren't actually dates. They are text entries that look like dates. Whoever entered this information into Excel entered the dates in the format day dot month dot year. Or maybe the information was pulled out of a system. I don't know. But the format certainly in the UK isn't recognized as a date. So I need to convert these into real dates. And to do this, I'm going to use text to columns. Before I show you that, if I just go to one of the dates and on the home tab of the ribbon, click the drop down in the number section, you can see that the cell is formatted as text. And even if it wasn't formatted as text, if it was formatted as general, you can see the examples under each of those formats is identical. So that is what gives it away that those are text entries. I'll start by selecting the cells with the dates in. I'll call them dates, even though they're not real dates, and go up to data, text to columns. Leave the first option set to delimited and click next. Deselect all the checkboxes and click next. Set the column data format to date and then choose the appropriate date format from that drop down. Now, although they're not real dates, they are still in the format day, month, year. So I'm going to choose the DMY. If I leave the destination as B2, it will overwrite what's in column B with the real dates. In the real world, you'd probably do that. But for this demo, I'll set the destination to C2, and that way we can compare the before and after. And that's it. Click Finish. What we now have in column C is real dates. And if I select those cells, go up to the Home tab, click the drop down in the number section, you can see that we've got different formats for short date and long date. So if I choose long date, we now have real dates. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.